Hey everybody, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well we're going to do a subscriber request today and this one should be fairly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to model a slinky, okay? Now for those of you who don't know what a slinky is, it's a kid's toy from the 1960s and I'll show you a quick video so you have an idea what it looks like, okay? Alright, there we go. Who walks the stair without a care and makes the happiest sound? Bounce up and down just like a clown. Right. Everyone knows it. Well, you get the idea, right? Okay, so let's get started with that. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we're in our modeling menu and we're going to go up to create, polygon primitives, and we're going to select the helix. All right. Now, with that said, we're going to go up to our attribute editor, hit Control A to pull that up, and we're going to go to our polyhelix one. And let's start to tweak these settings here. Now first, I'm going to tweak the radius. Let's do 0 0.1 to make that a bit thinner. And we're going to go thinner than that in a sec. Let's see, width, we'll increase that a little bit. Let's do 4. And then we'll slowly start to increase the number of coils. And obviously we want the height to be much higher. So let's bring that up to, let's say, 20. And then we're going to increase the number of coils until that is very, very dense. Let's try 150. And let's see how close they are. That's actually too close. Let's do 100. Let's see how that looks. Even less than that. Let's do 80. And then what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the radius to 0 0.025. That's better. So now what we can do is we can start to uh, increase the number of coils again. Let's say 100, 130, 150. That should be good. All right. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to select this guy. We're going to go up to Edit, Delete by Type, History, Modify, Freeze Transformation right there. And then we're going to hit E to rotate it and hold down J to snap it in sections of 15 degrees until we get that. All right. Now we want to have the uh, standard stance where the both ends are touching the floor where we have the uh, arch in the middle. So what we're going to do next is with this selected, we're going to go up to uh, in our modeling menu to deform. We're going to go to nonlinear and bend, which will create a bend handle inside. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. So now if we go to our bend tab and we tweak that, you can see that we can control what it looks like. Okay. So we're going to switch views uh, to, let's see, I think this is our front view. And then we're going to increase that shape until we can see that both ends are flat, which should be at 90 degrees, right? There we go, exactly 90. Now, if this is the end position that we want for our scene, okay, what you can do is you can select this guy, go to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. So we get rid of your control handle there. We're going to hit W. We're going to pull that up. Let's create a ground plane. So we can do a render. We'll just pull that out a little bit. Okay, let's apply some material. So I'll right click assign new material and we'll do a Fong E for the floor. And we'll change this color to white. And then we'll take our slinky. Let's make sure it's sitting okay. Hit W to move that up. Just a little bit. There we go. And for that, we're going to right click and assign new material. I'm going to right click. Come on. Right click, assign new material. We'll do an MIA material X, and that's a mental ray material. We'll select our tab here, go to presets, and we'll do chrome and replace. 
Now I want a little bit of lighting here as well. So we're going to go up to create lights and let's do an area light. Let's pull that out. We're going to raise that up a little bit and we'll hit seven on our keyboard to activate the light in our scene. We're going to hit T to create a control for our light. So we can now aim it. And what we'll do is we'll bring that one over here and we'll go into our area light and we'll scroll down to shadows. And what we're going to do is we're going to use ray trace shadows. So that's good. Then we're going to hit control D to duplicate that light. Pull it over here and maybe pull it out a bit more. And there we're going to deactivate shadows because we don't want to have shadows coming from all angles. That would be a bit disruptive. Okay. And let's decrease the intensity for that one. We'll do 0 0.3 on that. And then we'll hit control D once again and move this to the back. And that should be all right. Okay. Let's find a nice angle for a render. Uh, let's do that. Set up a resolution gate so we can see what's going on. Yep, yeah, there we go. We're going to go to our render settings. Let's open that up. In our common tab, we're going to go all the way down to render options and we're going to turn off default light. We're going to set our size to HD 720. Let's see what else. And uh, that looks all good. Then uh, actually, we're going to switch to mental ray because we use the mental ray material. Okay, so that's all still good. Quality tab. We'll set the overall quality to about 1.5. Uh, let's see, that's all good. We're gonna get the scene. Looks good as well. Uh, the only thing we need to do is, and that is under the quality tab. Uh, let's see, go to legacy options. And we're gonna set up global illumination. And make sure you've got the show advanced settings on. Otherwise, you're not going to see the legacy options. Okay? So that should all be good. Uh, I'm going to pause the video, hit render, and see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's our slinky. And uh, I think it turned out okay. Um, you can tweak that, obviously, if you like. But uh, that's all there's to it. So if you've got any questions, as always, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll help you if I can. And if you like my videos, please hit like, share, and uh, subscribe. All right. Thanks. Bye.